there is a three-step formula for us to achieve almost anything we could possibly want. The three steps are, number one, believe that you can reach what you want to reach, you can get what you want to get. Number two, do everything in your power to get it, to receive it, to reach it. And number three, hope to the Creator that He will help you. Hope to Him, pray to Him that He will help you re reach it. We know this formula is the true formula. Imagine a person drowning in an ocean. So what does he do? Firstly, he doesn't give up hope. He believes that he could be saved. Number two, he does everything in his power. He swims against the tide. He clutches at anything. He'll even clutch at a straw if he needs to. And number three, he prays to the Creator that he should save him. Or another scenario. A person has a sick child and he's very worried. He rushes him to the hospital. So at one, he believes that the child can be saved. Otherwise, why is he making all the effort? Number two, he does everything in his power to get the best medical help. And number three, he looks to the heavens above for their divine help in this situation. This idea comes through in this week's Pasha. The spies that the Jewish people had sent into Eretz Israel came back with a terrible report. A report of doom and gloom. The enemy was insurmountable. The enemy was so powerful in all, all aspects and so vicious. They couldn't, possibly, they couldn't possibly conquer the land. This was the report they gave. And the people chose to, to receive this report, to believe this report. Then one of the spies rose, Kalev, rose and said, no, that's, they're wrong, they're wrong, we can't do it. We will enter the land. We will inherit the land. We will conquer the land. It's all possible. This is what he told them. However, the people refused to receive this, uh, th this message. They, res they refused to believe it. They said, no, 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 you're wrong. We don't believe it. And they didn't believe it. And so it was, they didn't enter the land. That whole generation had to die out in the desert and their children in their place would be the ones who would enter the land. And this is a message and, and a warning for us also. Because we can also achieve marvelous things. We can reach wonderful goals, amazing goals. But we have to, we have to follow this formula. We have to, number one, believe that we can do anything. Number two, we have to throw ourselves into doing it. And number three, we need to look to the heavens above for heavenly help. And with this, with this we can realize all of our most, all our, our deepest and most beautiful and happiest, happiest dreams. We should all merit to reach them for ourselves, for our families, for our community, for our people in the very near present.